We would be lying if we didn't admit that some people are famous for the most random reasons. Between social media and YouTube, people can become famous practically overnight. Today on Beyond the Screen, we are checking out 10 people that this happened to. Who doesn't want to hear about normal people becoming famous overnight? You could be next. You never know. I'm your host for this one, Joss Bedard. Thanks for coming back to be on the screen. Keep up with us outside of YouTube. You can do that by finding our social media links. They are down below. And make sure you hang around until the end because we do common features and we run a blooper reel. But for now, I say we just get right into this countdown list. Kicking off this countdown is Salt Bay. If you've never heard of Salt Bay, it's possible that you aren't a big social media user because he is everywhere. He was once just a regular Turkish man who worked as a professional chef and restaurant owner in New York City. He was usually just cooking up a storm in the kitchen, keeping away from the public eye. And although there are a ton of celebrity chefs out there, he found a very unique and unintentional route to success. Back in 2017, he first appeared on the internet with videos and photos of him stylishly cutting and putting salt onto his steak. His photos were going around with the caption Salt Bay, and then it turned into this iconic meme that flooded the internet. He is now literally a viral star with over 25 million followers on Instagram and has opened up his restaurant in a few other locations across the world. Coming in next to number nine is Danielle Bergoli, also known as Bad Baby, but spelled with an H because that is the cool way to spell it. Before she became bad, she was just a regular teenage girl who appeared on an episode of Dr. Phil back in September 2016. She was actually on the show for being an out of control teenager who stole, hit, and disrespected her mother. Her mother was on the show with her trying to seek help for her out of control behavior. While on the show, this young girl decides to threaten the audience by saying, catch me outside, how about that? Which actually means in English, catch me outside, how about that? as in like a threat to fight them. That phrase quickly became a viral video meme and catchphrase. It seemed like everyone forgot about her rotten and disrespectful attitude and made her famous instead. Within a year, she became the youngest female rapper ever to appear on the Billboard Hot 100 charts and she signed a record deal with Atlantic Records. Why are we making these people famous? Cruising into our number eight spot is Mason Ramsey, but you might know him better as the Walmart yodeler. I can confidently say a lot of people probably didn't think country yodeling would ever come back in style, but one 11 year old boy brought it back when he started performing at Walmart. The young boy has always been a big fan of country music and from a young age, he learned how to yodel. His grandparents started taking him to Walmart to yodel for the shoppers in Southern Illinois. Someone recorded him and posted the video on YouTube titled Walmart Yodeling Kid. And from that moment on, that is exactly exactly what he became known as. The video went viral, Ellen DeGeneres had him on her show, he was then invited to sing at the famous Grand Ole Opry, and he signed a deal with Atlantic Records. And spot number seven is Batty Winkle. She's the oldest Instagram celebrity to ever break the internet when she suddenly gained stardom at the age of 85. So there's still hope for all of us. Her real name is Helen Ruth and she was once just a regular grandma working away on her six acre farm. One day her great granddaughter saw her in a pair of cut off shorts and a tie dye t-shirt and told her to pose for a picture. The picture went viral and people said that they loved that she just didn't care what people thought about her. From there, she turned herself into a persona called Batty Winkle. She was asked how she came up with the name and her response was, I'm a bad bitch always been a rebel. So we decided on Batty and then my last name was Van Winkle. So we put Winkle on. She currently has 3.9 million followers on Instagram. And if you go take a look at it, you will understand why. Also, she is 91 years old right now and she is killing life. She is goals. Next up at number six, we got Mike Varshavsky, just a regular guy whose father was a doctor and his mother was a mathematician. No big deal. But it makes sense that he went on to become a doctor on his own. He was a doctor in Summit, New Jersey, where he earned himself the nickname Dr. Mike for being such a popular doctor in that area. In 2012, he started documenting his life as a doctor on Instagram, like many people do these days. But it was his good looks that actually got the attention of a lot of people, and he went viral simply for being a hot doctor. His followers blew up, and People Magazine called him the sexiest doctor alive. And that basically made him famous overnight. He now has over 3.5 million followers on Instagram and 5 million subscribers on YouTube. All for being a hot doctor. 
Halfway through at number five is Honey Boo Boo. Her real name is Alana Thompson though, and she was once just a regular little girl with dreams of becoming a beauty queen. She was doing her training like every other little girl would with those dreams and appeared on an episode of TLC's Toddler and Tiaras. She and her mother June won over the audience's attention with their personalities, mainly because they weren't what some people would call the traditional beauty that you would see at the pageants. But it actually led to them being given a shot in the dark at their own TV show called Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. No one knew how it would go, but it was an instant success and she became famous overnight. She started appearing in interviews everywhere and in 2018 she went on Dancing with the Stars. Moving on, we're at number 4 with Alex from Target. Imagine becoming a celebrity simply because you work at Target. That is exactly what happened to this guy and I'm not kidding. In 2014, Alex Lee was just a regular 16 year old boy working part time as a cashier at a Target in Texas. He'd only been working there for 3 months when someone took a picture of him and posted it to Twitter gushing about how hot they thought he was. The picture went viral on the internet. It was actually the same day and by the time his shift was even over, his manager approached him showing him the viral picture. He went from 140 followers on Instagram to over 5,000 in just a few hours. His social media skyrocketed and Ellen DeGeneres brought him on her show as Alex from Target. He now has half a million followers on Twitter. In our third spot is Rebecca Black. It's hard to forget her because the song that made her viral has probably been stuck in your head since 2011. She was just a regular 13 year old girl at the time and spent her free time taking piano lessons, singing and dancing. Her parents actually paid for her and her friends to have their own music video filmed as a Christmas gift, which is actually a really cool idea. Her song was called Friday and when it was posted online she never expected what was to come from it. The video and song went viral and hit 100 million views within the first 3 months. But the hard part about this was she actually became famous for being a horrible singer. Like the song was so bad. She started getting death threats online and people were very vicious towards her. However, she persevered and continued to receive vocal training. In 2018 she appeared on the TV show called The Four and redeemed herself by showing everyone that she can actually sing. Taking over our number 2 spot is Side Eye Chloe. By now everyone knows who she is because even if you didn't see the original video that made her famous, you've probably seen the meme. If you haven't seen the video, Chloe's mom surprises her and her sister in the car one day by telling them they aren't going to school, they're going to Disneyland instead. Chloe's sister starts to cry because she's like so happy and Chloe has the most iconic reaction, her annoyed side eye face. Like, like what the f*** are you doing? That. The video went viral and her face has been famously used in memes for years now. It's actually been 4 years since she became famous and Chloe is growing up in the spotlight. She actually booked a big google campaign in Brazil and her mom recreating the photo is probably the best thing that I have ever seen. Taking over our number 1 spot is Kaylin Allen. I saved the best for last and obviously this is my opinion, but it's my list and he is absolutely my favorite. In 2017 he was just a regular college student at Temple University and he decided to post a video on Facebook of himself critiquing a cooking video. He was busy working 5 different jobs at the time so he didn't think anything of it when he posted it. But people started to share the video and it quickly went viral. So he started making more food critique videos and called them Kaylin Reacts and uploaded them to YouTube. He started getting noticed worldwide and Ellen DeGeneres brought him on her show where she ended up offering him a full time job. He now produces his own segment under Ellen's studio in LA and lord have mercy it is the funniest thing I have ever seen. Honestly, he's a genius. He's a comical genius. I remember seeing one of the first reaction videos and I was hooked ever since. Alright guys, that is our list for today. Let me know what you were thinking down in those comments. I want to hear what you think about this list and make sure you fire a thumbs up if you liked it. But for now, I'm going to end our time together by responding to some comments. Angel for Animals says, why does Jocelyn sound like Jessica Simpson? Has anyone seen them in the same room together? I sound like Jessica Simpson? I feel like I don't sound anything like Jessica Simpson. But I'm okay with it. The Mystic Realm says, I love a video on Canadian celebs. Hashtag Canadian celebs. I know there are some pretty sick Canadian celebs out there. I'm just saying, will Americans care to watch a video on Canadian celebs? I don't know. I'm all for it. You guys decide. Legend Killer says, And what's your crime, Joss? I wouldn't tell my crime because then I would get caught. Slime Arcane Zed says, Joss, will you be my Valentine? Well, today is Valentine's Day. So by the time this video goes up, it'll be over. But maybe next year? All right guys, I am getting out of here. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell to hang out with me every day. But for now, just stick around for these bloopers. Yummy. Joey.
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> If you've never heard of Salt Bay, it's pa, it's pa, <laughs> it's pa. <laughs> Start rapping there. Seriously, I could be a rapper. You know what that is? The guy with the sunglasses and he goes, yeah. he puts salt on shit. <laughs> Just like that, Salt Bay. And she has, <laughs> who knew? I yodel. Can you yodel? Yodel. <laughs> I don't even know how. How do you yodel? He, what, what do you do after the yodel a? I think just the yodel a. Yodel a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to offend anyone who yodels. I genuinely don't know how to yodel. Yeah, no, 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 yodel a. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna become the next Walmart yodeler. Here I go. God bless Batty Winkle. No talent, just, I mean, he's talented because he's a fucking doctor. You smart. So I don't care if he's famous. Doctors deserve to be famous. That's cool. You saving lives, boo. You out there saving lives. You deserve to be famous. Talk about a successful life, my friend. From beauty queen to dancing with the stars. He went. <sighs> On Valentine's Day, you gotta do this to me? Kind of Valentine, are you? Choo 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 chose me for Valentine's Day. Like, where was this when I worked at Tim Hortons? Jocelyn from Tim Hortons. No one thought I was hot and wanted to post my picture on Twitter. <laughs> Come on. Friday, Friday, gonna get down on Friday. <laughs> you know this song? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was the worst song I've ever heard. Friday, Friday. And she's like singing in a car like, but you can't even drive, you're 13. What are you getting down on Friday? You getting down like, yeah, going to freaking library? Like, you getting down, you getting grounded. Look at that. Hello. 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 <laughs> I wouldn't tell my crime because then I would get caught. I'm kidding, by the way. Please, no one come after me. I haven't done anything. I'm a good person. Liar. I'm a good person. I'm a liar. I am. I have lied in my lifetime, so.